night. Wondering if anybody can guess what I'm doing today. Yes, that's corn out there on the ground. It's about, well, it varies. <laughs> it varies from a foot down to about four inches because of the frost we had. Kind of stunted some of it. But, um, so it's a foot, four inches. And let's see here. You can see that I'm doing something with a sprayer. All right. Look out there, those little things right there is what I'm doing. I'm putting out nitrogen. Let's see here. Two, four, six. So I'm laying by nitrogen eight rows at a time right now. And I um, got a lot of corn to lay by today. I'll probably be. <laughs> probably be late tonight before I'm done. I have the lights blaring. But still got a lot of corn to do. This field here is a small field I got. It ain't it ain't much to it. About four acres back here. But um I think all in all I got to lay by right at say a hundred and something acres. See I probably got another fifty to go. Um a lot of corn, but this is how you lay it by. This is a nice way of laying it by. Uh, I used to lay it by with an old open cab tractor and a two row um, nitrogen distributor. That's how I started a long time ago. About, let's see, 12, 22 years ago. But that's what the corn looks like. And this is all field corn here. Um, run the combine through all this, the harvest. But that's what it is. You, um, it's gonna splash up that nitrogen. It's 25 S, what it's called. It's gonna splash up on that corn some and burn it. But it ain't gonna hurt as much. It, it actually come out of it. You get it down in the world over the center of the corn, it will go down there and kill the corn plant. But it's going so short that I'm having to use those drop drops on there, which you gonna use drops no matter what. But those tubes, what they're doing is they. I wouldn't have them on there, it would actually be um, spraying up into the top of the corn. That's what you don't want. Hold on, turn around. And, um, two, four, six. You don't want that because it'll mess everything up. Yes, and those green spots right there I sprayed the other day, that's the cover crop I planted. It was oats out here, and you can see look in between the rows you see a bunch of burnt stuff that's the oats from when I planted those are just spots where the planter didn't plant any seed and I was turning around and everything but like I said I sprayed Roundup uh, Monday so by next Monday it'll be as brown as that down there on the ground but uh, next time I'm only by twice this year which is spraying nitrogen um, next time I come out here this corn will probably be two and a half three foot tall and um, trying to split rate it this year in the past I'd go out here one time with 40 gallons an acre and um, nitrogen will actually nitrogen will actually volatilize which means evaporate in nitrogen terms um, and it will leach if you get too much moisture out there it'll leach into the ground that's another thing you don't want you're losing nitrogen so this year here i'm gonna split rate it i did it a long time ago about 10 11 years ago when i did it 10 or 11 years ago it um yeah we was in a bad drought that year and i went from combining 35 40 bushels to the acre and this uh, and then moved to another field and we moved in there that night it must have been i'd say got done one field and moved in another one it was right at dark and we had had a hopper bottom back then to hold a thousand bushels of corn but uh we um had maybe 125 bushels of corn in that hopper two four six and um we um started combining and it was about like i say dark so you really couldn't see what the 
with how much corn was coming in the hopper. But I did notice, for some reason, the uh, combine, I mean the corn coming in there, it was filling up a whole lot faster. And I, um, <laughs> I dag, um, I think I combined six acres, so five or six acres, and filled up the hopper bottom with right around 1,050, 1,100 bushels of corn. I mean, we had it heaped. And um, I tried to remember what I did different about that field, because it got the same amount of rain as everything else. And I remembered that I had laid by twice once out there, just like I did the rest of the corn, but I had some nitrous and left over from putting out beside cotton. And I uh, realized, <laughs> I actually, we were knocking down corn, trying, because we had nitrogen left over, we was trying to get rid of it. And um, empty the tanks and everything. And uh, put, put back out there at the same rate, because I put the same rate on cotton as I did corn. And um, I'm gonna tell you, that son of a gun, it cut in a dry year, 150 bushels to the acre, versus the 35 and the other field we was doing. So I'm gonna try that again this year. On some of this land, I might pull out a full, full 40 gallons or some more, but I don't, I ain't made up my mind about that yet. But that's what that's going on today, just a whole lot of spraying and laying by and trying to catch up. We need some rain bad. It's not dry, but it's dry enough to where I need some more. But that's what's going on today. Don't forget to hit the like and subscribe button and that way you can see all the crazy stuff that I got to go through. All right, thank you. All right, so today is the day we're putting out transplants. Uh, my job is to run the tractor, which is normal. And their job is to plant the plants. Right now they're planting cucumbers. right there a bunch of hole in that plastic they put a plant in every hole cucumbers is really a pain in the behind for putting a plant every foot red squash and zucchini we switched to two foot antelopes two foot watermelon four foot it's a good thing to have this tractor that's got three range gears in them a b c and d mine of hinder has got high and low and it's just a little bit too fast for planting cucumbers. You gotta pull up some, stop, let them catch up. But that's what's going on right now. Cucumbers going in the ground.